Going to jail is a pretty bad experience, huh? I mean, it is a punishment, so it should be pretty bad. Lots of scary dudes, isolation from the society, endless boredom. What can be worse? Maybe going to Russian jail. Russian prisons have these friendly guys, this healthy food, this strange entertainment, these amazing interiors. But what if I tell you that there are places in Russia that are far, far worse than a simple prison? Places that are created specifically so you'll never ever get out of there, as long as you're alive. And there are 9 such places in Russia. 9 circles of hell. So, there are 9 prisons for people who were assigned life sentences in modern Russia. Usually such prisons have two parts, one for ordinary guys who were imprisoned only for 20-25 years, and the other for the bad guys who live there for the rest of their lives. Naturally, not everyone is allowed to live there. Rule number one – no women. In Russia it is impossible to get a life sentence if you were born a woman. Rule number two – if you are under 18 or over 65, then you are not getting life imprisonment too. And finally, if you were sentenced to death back in the Soviet Union, but for some reason you were still alive by 1996, then you are also won't be in prison for life. For some reason, this sentence was replaced by only 25 years, not life imprisonment. But in general, life imprisonment can be received by all those who deserve it. Murderers, rapists, jailbirds, terrorists, and those who enjoy organizing genocides. Ok, these places are specifically designed to never, never let you out of there. But there are still a couple of ways to get out alive. And no, I'm not talking about prison break. And no, I'm not talking about living as a corpse. There is one way after all. Sometimes these prisons are just… closed. Number 9 on our list is the Black Eagle, located in the village of Lazvinsky, Sverdlovsk region. This is the only prison for life sentence prisoners on this list that has already been closed in 2019. It was closed, by the way, for a very interesting reason. The prison was built on a rock, so it was almost impossible to escape from it. And also impossible to build a normal sewage system. The prisoners used steel buckets as toilets in their cells up until 2015. Finally, in 2019, the authorities decided that it was too inhumane. Unfortunately for the inmates, they were not set free, but simply transferred to other similar prisons. In the entire history of this prison, no one has ever escaped from it. There was only one attempt. In 1989, the prisoners took hostages, locked themselves in an administrative building and demanded a car and some money. However, the plan had one major flaw. Black Eagle is located literally in the middle of nowhere. So the prisoners quickly surrendered in exchange for the fact that the conditions of their detention would not worsen. The name of the prison comes from the famous sculpture of the eagle, holding the head of a snake in its claws. The sculptor, of course, was also a prisoner, Habas Zakuraev, who was sentenced to 25 years for the murder of his mother-in-law. Black Eagle had a unique Russian banya inside of the prison, where especially diligent inmates were allowed to go once a week. Another feature of this prison there was a plug with the name of a prisoner, the number and age of his victims on the door of each cell, so that the staff does not have any desire to help those located inside. And a pretty standard schedule – get up at 6 am, go to sleep at 11 am, and prisoners can't lie on their bed during the day. A 90 minute walk in a small cell with a grate over your head is your only pastime. Of course, no TV, no internet. You can write letters, complaints or read books. For good behavior, you can receive one parcel from relatives or the right for them to visit you for 4 hours twice a year. Number 9 is the Minusinsk prison. Formally, it is not a prison built exclusively for those sentenced for life, but from time to time such people get there. The fact is that the Minusinsk prison has a certain reputation. Defendants of high-profile criminal cases and thieves in law are sent there when there is a need to break them so that they start working with the investigating authorities. I am not entirely sure why they send people who will spend their whole lives behind bars there, but the fact remains. The prison itself was built during the times of the Russian Empire, and the most inveterate prisoners were exiled there. Alexander Solzhenitsyn, in his Gulag Archipelago, called the Minusinsk prison the most terrible prison center of the times of Stalin's repressions. 
The prison is designed so that the prisoners, unable to withstand difficult conditions, will cooperate with the administration. Now it becomes clear why the participants of the most notable criminal cases are being taken to small minusins. For example, there is a story about how one prisoner cuts off his own tongue, unable to withstand the beatings from the prison guards. What a beautiful place. Number 7. The Snowflake. Yeah, poetic. The only prison for life sentenced prisoners in the Far East, and one of the newest. Black Eagle was over 80 years old, Minusinsk prison more than 100 years old, and Snowflake is not even 10 yet. It is undoubtedly the most technologically advanced prison in Russia. Its security system with motion sensors, surveillance cameras and retinal scanners is considered impenetrable. Naturally, the most cruel murderers and maniacs of Russia are sent there nowadays, but precisely because of its novelty and technologies, this prison is not as tough as many others. Compare it to the Black Eagle. There are no trips to the banya, yes, but there is a shower twice a week, and also a TV set, movie screens once a week, board games, you can even buy sweets in a local prison store. Not a prison, but a heaven on earth. In addition, all prisoners are obliged to work here. No exceptions. Usually, life sentenced prisoners are exempt from this. There are some interesting convicts living here. The main star is this cutie Maxim Kiselev. On February 23rd, 2009, he was supposed to meet the relatives of his bride for the first time. It went kinda bad. Maxim killed six people, went to Black Eagle first, and then moved to Snowflake. During his stay in the Black Eagle, Kiselev became a movie star. He starred in a documentary film of the Italian director Mark Franchetti, Sentenced, Colony No. 56. Thanks to his acting, Kiselev met an Italian woman named Sirena, with whom he soon plans to tie the knot. Sirena even agrees to move to Khabarovsk from Milan. Or Igor Davidov. He was already serving prison time for robbery in 2001. But then his cousin decided to write a letter asking for parole for him, promising to give Davidov a job at her company. Not the wisest decision. Davidov then killed his cousin, her husband, two sons and their nanny, literally two months after his release. Number 6. Tarbeevsky Central Another modern prison which is only 5 years old. Air conditioners, hot water, modern toilets. Prisoners also are allowed to work here just as in a snowflake. Very mild conditions and absolutely no interesting inmates. There are no cannibals here, just some killers from the organized crime groups, robbers rapists or, for example, the head of the nationalist group NSO North, who himself did not even kill anyone, but still deserved capital punishment. Boring gentlemen. So boring. Oh, wait. We have a record holder here, Mikhail Popkov, who broke the great record of the terrible Andrei Chikatila and killed as many as 85 people. He drove a taxi, picked up single girls on the road and always offered them a drink. If the girl agreed, then her life was over. The victim and the maniac drove to a secluded place, drank, had sex, then the murder followed. If she refused, then Popkov did not touch her, and even accompanied her to the door of her apartment, taking care of her safety. In general, a strange choice of a prison for such a monster, perhaps the mildest prison of all possible. Most likely this is due to the fact that in his past life, Popkov himself was a policeman. As you know, they do not abandon their own. Number 5 on our list is the Vologodsky Pitak, a unique jailhouse located in a former monastery built in the 16th century. The prison has a distinct Shutter Island vibe or Alcatraz vibe. It's located on an island. As you might have guessed, no one could ever escape from there either. Although one guy tried. He climbed into a sewer truck. He got out of prison but was unable to swim to the solid ground. So he had to go back. It was the first prison for life sentenced prisoners in Russia. One of the most famous residents of this jail is Artyom Anufriev, who managed to get a life sentence at the age of 18. And to become quite famous, he and his friend Litkin terrorized the whole city of Irkutsk in 2011, attacking people with hammers and spreading videos of the attacks on the internet. Also, this prison attracts creative persons. Mikhail Bukharov managed to assemble the Ostrov Prison Band, and they already recorded more than 70 songs. Vladimir Ganin is an artist who creates beautiful landscape paintings and even participates in various exhibitions. 
he even has a separate workshop inside the prison. Both the first and the second, before the disclosure of their creative talents, killed four people. By the way, the conditions here were almost the same as in the Black Eagle. The prisoners used toilet buckets until 2011, and the prison is still heated with wood and coal. But in general, the jail is considered very soft. Long visits are allowed here and the areas of some cells are simply gigantic. After all, these are former cells of the monastery. Number 4. Mardovskaya Zona, or simply IK-1. The most inconspicuous prison of all nine, but no less scary. The story is trivial. There was a Gulag camp in the 30s, then there was a special prison for dissidents in the 70s, but in 98 it turned into a prison for life sentences. There are dense forests around, the guards on the towers are mostly women from the neighboring villages. A funny thing, many people consider such prisons a waste of money, because monsters, murderers and rapists live there, and we pay for it from our taxes. But at the same time, this prison is almost the only place of work for most people in the area. There are no large enterprises within the radius of 40 miles. Either you work here, or you don't work anywhere and just have to leave. Conditions here are also not the most spartan. Some prisoners even have TVs, but only if their relatives bought them with their own money. In 2017 a huge scandal erupted. A journalist from Novaya Gazeta published an investigation, according to which since 2009 five life sentenced prisoners were beaten to death by guards of IK-1. 70% of 140 lifetime prisoners became crippled. They received fractures of limbs and ribs or spinal injuries. Now imagine, every time a prisoner was beaten and tortured, he was supposed to thank the guards loudly. Thank you very much, chief sir. However, the inspection carried out after this article did not find any violations. In this prison basically real maniacs are collected. The worst of them is definitely Igor Irtashov. He is forever locked up in solitary confinement for having raped eight boys. The fate of the last of them was truly terrible. Irtyshov tore out 10 meters of boy's intestines with his bare hands. According to rumors, from dawn to dusk Igor Irtyshov constantly drives the wardens and other convicts insane with his crazy antics and loud screeching. And he's not stopping 24-7. There is hardly anything human left in him. Number 3. Polarau. The northernmost prison on the list and the prison with the most terrible history. The village of Harp in which it is located was built around a cap for prisoners, who worked on the construction of the Transpolar mainline. A great project that was absolutely impossible to implement. Tens of thousands of prisoners died here, trying to build a railway track through the endless taiga. Losses during the construction of the Transpolar mainline were measured according to this terrible formula. One sleeper, one person, for which this road was called a dead road. The name Polarau, like that of the Black Eagle, comes from the sculpture in the prison yard. Here the conditions are very harsh. Cells for one or two people and inmates are even forbidden to communicate in full voice. Only whispers are allowed. For any conversation during a short walk, two weeks in a punishment cell. There is no TV or any entertainment here. But there are lots of famous prisoners. The Bitsa Park Maniac, whose aim was to kill 64 people, the number of squares on a chessboard, and Durpashi Kulaev, the only surviving terrorist who seized a school in Bislan. But this prison is also the only place from which a live prisoner managed to get out alive and legally. 63 years old, Anvar Masalimov. Back in 1991, he killed an elderly neighbor and dismembered him. This was his second murder, so he received his death penalty, which was then replaced with life imprisonment. But in 1998 he managed to requalify his penalty for a soft one, and after 25 years of imprisonment he received the right to parole. True, he was at large for only a year and a half. In 2018, during a drunken brawl, he stabbed a man in the stomach with a knife and went to jail once again. Number 2. The White Swan Once again a poetic name, once again in honor of a sculpture and also in honor of how prisoners are transferred around the territory, bending over at 90 degrees with their hands behind their backs. Does it look like a swan? Maybe? And again, it's a former Gulag camp built during the Great Purge, one of the toughest prisons in Russia. No banyas and workshops, no visits, only 90 minutes of radio per day. 
The main contingent consists of terrorists and serial killers. On average, one prisoner here has six corpses to his name. For example, Denis Pishikov killed old women with an axe for their pension. Hello, Mr. Raskolnikov. And Maxim Petrov, nicknamed Dr. Death. He worked in St. Petersburg in a polyclinic. He gave potential victims fluorography, then came to their houses and gave them a lethal injection. No one was able to escape from the White Swan, although there were attempts. In 1992, one of the prisoners got a hand grenade, took one of the heads of the jailhouse hostage and tried to leave the territory by car. But the grenade exploded and the fugitive was sent back. But this time without both of his feet. Well, number one on our list is the famous, harsh and terrible Black Dolphin. The largest prison for life sentenced prisoners in Russia and the toughest of them all. Its history goes back almost 250 years from the time of the Pugachev uprising under Catherine the Great. For example, the great Ukrainian poet Taras Shevchenko had spent several weeks in Black Dolphin in 1847. In the 21st century, this jail was converted to house life sentenced prisoners, and now there are no great poets here, only mass murderers. They are getting up at 6 o'clock, after which the prisoners can neither sit nor lie on their beds for 16 hours straight. You can sleep only with the lights on and with the hands over the blanket. You cannot even have laces in your shoes, so that there is no opportunity to hang yourself on them. Only food here is a liquid soup and some bread. When guards move prisoners to another building, they put a head back on them so that they cannot remember the layout of the jail. Naturally, the prisoners here are the most special. For example, Vladimir Nikolaev, the cannibal. He dismembered his first victim in order to get rid of the corpse, but was hungry and decided to eat a slice. He killed the second one on purpose and sold the meat to a friend under the guise of Saiga meat. They made dumplings from this meat and treated them to guests. But guests somehow figured out that something was wrong. Another cannibal, Alexander Maslich, managed to strangle, boil and eat a prison inmate right in his own cell of another jailhouse. For this he was transferred to the Black Dolphin until the end of his days. There are many child killers here. One of them raped 39 underage girls. The other one cut out the internal organs from the victims and slept with them in a bed. There are also many terrorists in the Black Dolphin, organizers and executors of major terrorist attacks with explosions of houses and markets. In all other prisons the inmates enjoy at least some form of entertainment. But the rules are simple in the Black Dolphin. If you get here, then most likely you will pray to God every single minute for this hell to end so you can finally die. Half of the prisoners go insane after a couple of years in the Black Dolphin. However, if you got into Black Dolphin, then most likely you deserve such fate.